I'm excited for this next segment because joining me in this moment are the stars of Duck Family Treasure. Season two has just dropped exclusively on FoxNation.com, and we have a little sneak peek for you. Watch. Growing up in Louisiana, you learn how to crawl, then walk, and then put out crawfish traps. While I'm treasure hunting, I'll be treasure hunting. This is about the easiest hunting that you can do. With the greatest payoff. There's a reason Louisiana is famous for crawfish, because you don't have to go far, you'll find them. And I don't know of anything else better to eat on the planet. Joining me now is Jace and Missy Robertson, stars of Duck Family Treasure on Fox Nation. Jace, uh, this season takes you all over the country searching for buried treasure. What are we going to learn in the show? Well, you're going to learn that, you know, treasure comes in various forms. <laughs> <laughs> so we find relics. Uh, we're looking for silver and gold and all kind of old things that are under the ground. But we also are, you know, we're looking for supper. And so, uh, you know, the crawfish is way up on the list of treasures that I prefer. So uh, and then, then there's our family. We do this together. So that's, that's uh, one of life's great treasures. You know, Missy, you posted a, uh, a picture online of you out fishing, <laughs> and, and you got a great catch. And um, tell me the story behind it. And when you catch fish, do you make the guys actually prep the fish and cook dinner? Okay, you act like that's a thing that happens all the time. <laughs> that does not happen. Just hearing you say when you were out fishing, uh, yeah. they set us up to succeed. We'll say that. But he kind of dropped a bombshell on me. So you'll have to watch the episode to see it. But Jessica and I went out there and actually brought the fish in, which was a feat in and of itself. But no, I don't clean them. I don't even cook them. He does it all. Yeah, you, you, so you're I, the I clean and cooker. Yeah. yeah, that was the. Uh, that's why that show took off because we set them out, but then we got a lead to go find some buried treasure, and I was like, "Babe, take care of this. All you got to do, <laughs> what could go wrong?" Next thing you know, they're yeah. out there screaming. Well, the only reason I agreed to it is because they taste so good. They taste so good, that's <laughs> right. especially when you don't have to clean them or cook them. That's Even better, correct. Right? Yes. <laughs> All right, I want to go to a little more serious topic because uh, tonight in California. Um, the L.A. Dodgers are celebrating Pride Night, and uh, as they celebrate Pride Night, they're uh, giving the Community Hero Award to the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Just here's a slice of, of what the, sis the sisters represent. So, uh, I'm a Catholic. We're all Christians. Um, there is, I'm, I'm absolutely so offended by this group, but that the Dodgers would actually bring them in and to mock Catholics and Christians as a whole, to mock the cross. Um, what is your response to what the Dodgers are doing here? Well, it's real unfortunate and sad. We were actually Dodger fans when I was a kid, uh, back in the Steve Garvey, Ron Say, you know, Dusty Baker days. And uh, to see that now, I'm like, because here we are as Christians, and I think misrepresented in a lot of ways, because we treat everyone with love and respect, uh, even in our disagreements. But to have that make fun of us for no other reason than to just make fun of us. To and, mock us. Yeah, and, and for have us to celebrate baseball and that kind of decision and lifestyle, that's asking too much. You know, Missy, w w I can't imagine what would happen if Christians were mocking you know, those that were in the LGBTQ plus community or mocking folks from other religions, America would go crazy. But here, uh, Christians are fair game. I, I've never seen that clip before until now, and that actually gave me chills. That, I, that right there is evil. So, and, and the Lord talks about that many times in the Bible. And so we will be persecuted for standing up for what is right. But as Christians, that's what we should do. And so many times when we do that, we will be blessed because of it. And we need to stand up, not because that that is wrong and evil, and we need to be scared of that, but for our own children and for the generations after us, if they're trying to normalize that, that that is okay, that is not okay. Our Creator loves us more than anything else on the planet. He loves those people. We do too. If they knew Jesus the way we did, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't be mocking the cross. No. Uh, just real quick, uh, we're coming up upon Father's Day. Um, what does Father's Day mean to the Robertson family? And there's so much push against families right now, demonizing families and demonizing men, calling them toxic. What does it mean to, to, to your family? Well, it means a lot. I mean, you know, the whole problem with our society and with kids and what they're thinking, it starts in the home. 
and uh, and fathers need to be present. And you know, I wasn't raised in a good environment. My dad has written books about it. There's a movie coming out this year in September about his life leading up to him coming to the Lord. But I got to see his transformation and him turn from being a terrible human being to a great father. That's wonderful. And so it's inspiring. He passed it down to us. So. How about you, Missy? I was going to say I'm bragging on him because he is what you would call a manly man, but not just because of the way he looks with a beard and knows how to shoot a gun and, and cook and clean for his family, but it's because he stands up for our family. He's making the hard choices and the hard decisions. Even on the plane, he challenged me spiritually to be a better mom and a better sister in Christ to some of the other people in my life. And so that's what a manly man does is leads his family in the Lord and makes those hard decisions. And that's what we're going to celebrate on Father's Day. He so. leads, he provides, he cares for. <laughs> and uh, leads the faith. I just say it from my own personal experience. Uh, we had an issue in our family. We didn't know where we were going, and Rachel said, the Robertsons will have the answer, <laughs> and you guys were wonderful helping out the Duffies, and we are so grateful for that and so grateful for your testimony and all you do on the show. So, mm -hmm. Jason, Missy, thank you. Make sure to watch the brand-new season of Duck Family Treasure. It's right now on foxnation.com. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.